Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is about the chrome side panel. So have you noticed this? You can actually bring up your search results in the side panel and do a few other things. Let me show you how this works. Okay, if you are like me, you may have been ignoring this little icon in the top right that's next to whatever image represents your Google account when you're signed in. So um, this little square kind of with the darkened rectangle on the edge represents the show side panel option. And so when you click to open that up, by default, which I really don't like this being the default, you can create a reading list, which is still super cool. I just think that the search is a little bit more powerful to see at first, but you have this drop down, so you can create and access a reading list right here. You can also come down to see your bookmarks. You can also access what they call journeys. And if you haven't explored this, this is your search journeys, like when you're looking for different things. And you can go to google.com. Now, since I had already searched for this previously, it is pulling that up right here, but I can still keep using this to search for anything. So this little search box is super handy so that I can keep working and looking at things instead of having to go back to different tabs. So for instance, if I open up this, I still have the side panel and I can still see whatever is going on here, sorry about the ad, um, that I need. So this is great for research. This is just really great because so many of us Google things on a daily basis. Now, again, you've got access to the reading list, bookmarks, journeys, and google.com in the side panel. If you want it to go away, click it again. That's it, that easy. I hope you like this tip. If you do, give me a thumbs up, ring the bell, and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And if you haven't already, hop on over to shakeuplearning.com and check out all of the free resources we have there. Bye, y'all.